So you want to trade trend lines and you watch a video on YouTube, could be ours, could be other people's one, and you know, it seems straightforward. But what happens is that when you look at the charts, you are confused because you see multiple trend lines, you know, you see a counter trend line, you see a trend line, and you do not know what to do. If that's you, then today's video is for you because in today's Forex trading video, I'll be talking about the trend line trading strategy. Specifically, I want to address the question of what do you do when there are multiple trend lines, okay? For example, you have one trend line that is uh, with the trend and the other trend line is counter trend. What do you do in this kind of scenario? Now, to illustrate what I mean, I want to show you some examples of uh, what this problem is first, just in case you, you are not too clear about what I'm saying. Then I want to show you the solution. So let's say uh, over here I have two charts. Okay, after this, I will just go into the uh, trading view, the charting platform to show you uh, this problem uh, in greater detail. But for now, let's stick to this uh, two uh, screenshots that I have right here. So you can see that there is a ascending uh, trend line and you see this trend line and uh, you are keen to buy off uh, the trend line. But at the same time, you see a descending trend line at the same time. So if you've been watching some other videos, it could be ours, it could be you know, uh, some other YouTuber, it could be a, a Forex educator you paid to learn, wherever it is. Sometimes they tell you to sell at the top, you know, they tell you, tell, tell you to sell at the top of the trend line and buy at the bottom of the trend line. So in this case, what do you do? Right, because there is a sending trend line and there's a descending trend line and maybe you're confused. Because yes, it's true that you're supposed to sell at the top, you're supposed to buy at the bottom, but which should you lean towards? Okay, and it doesn't make sense for you to, you know, maybe buy here and sell here because the range is very narrow. So what do you do? Okay, this is the problem. So if you have this problem, then uh, this video will address this, okay? To further, further illustrate this problem, I have an, an, another example over here. So you can see that this is again a trend line. And in this case, this trend line was acting perfectly, but you also have a descending trend line at the same time. So what do you do in this kind of scenario? Okay, so I want to give you some guidelines as to uh, what you should be doing in this kind of scenario so that you can apply the uh, trend line training strategy that we teach, you know, in the right manner. Okay, we recorded a trend line training strategy video, which is uh, a concept which costs us thousands of dollars to learn. So if you have not checked that video out, please go watch that. Okay, I'll leave a link in the top right, but please go watch that so that uh, you understand how to apply it. Okay, we provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to trade trend lines. Okay, it's a complete strategy, step-by-step -step walk you through. So uh, there's really no reason uh, why uh, you, you can't trade or you can't learn a profitable strategy, right, uh, just from our channel, okay? We have a lot of videos like this. Now, by the way, if you're enjoying this content so far, I appreciate you could just like our video, right? We are trying to uh, reach more traders. We're trying to impact more traders. So we could really, really use your help if you help us to like this video and hit the subscribe uh, icon below, right? Turn on the bell notification as well so that you will not miss a video uh, that we create just for you, okay? We also prepared a free day trading guide for you. So make sure you download that if you have not, okay? It's totally free. It teaches you how to identify market structure and all those good stuff. So right now, what I want to do is I want to go into the charts to show you the exact scenario that always happens, right? And then I want to give you a solution on how do you solve it, okay? So this is a very common scenario, okay? So let's assume that um, this is your price and you know, price been going up, come down, goes up, okay? So you're in an uptrend and uh, when you draw the trend line, you realize that um, this point over here, is actually a uh, projected uh, support because you have the trend line, uh, Okay, sorry, let me just try to draw it nicer so that uh, it's clearer. Okay, let me just uh, change this. Okay, let me just change this so that it's clearer. Okay, something like this. Okay, so let's say you were to draw this trend line by connecting uh, this uh, swing low with this swing low and you're trying to project uh, this uh, sub potential support over here. And what happens is that uh, if you watch some of our other videos, right, the trend line trading uh, strategy video, we did say that one of the criteria of uh, finding this zone is having a trend line and then combining with, with a Fibonacci. But that's not the uh, content for today's video, right? Today's video, I want to address the fact that, you know, when you draw this line, this uh, trend line, at the same time, when you see this pattern, you'd see that there's also a potential, uh, what I call the counter trend line. So this is the trend line that is with the trend, and this is the trend line that is against the trend. So how do you deal with this kind of scenario? Should you be selling here? Should you be buying here? What should you be 
doing. Okay, so I have four guidelines for you. The first guideline that I want to share with you is that you never want to blindly trade trend lines. Okay, you do not want to trade every single trend line. So what do I mean by that? Okay, I see a lot of traders, what they do is uh, they watch a video such as this and they apply it out of context. So what they do is uh, they just, oh, trend line. Okay, so you know when price comes up to here, they sell. When price comes here, they buy. When comes here, they sell, they buy. And uh, they don't consider anything. They, they just look at the charts. For example, they just uh, take a chart and uh, you know, they draw something like this and oh, there's a trend line. Okay, I try to sell here and then they lose money. And then uh, they do something like this. Um, they do something like this over here. They draw a standing trend line and again it fails, right? They, they buy off the trend line and it fails and then they lose money. And then they repeat the same thing again Then they draw a trend line. You know, maybe they draw it here and then it fails again and they keep losing money and then they conclude that uh, trend line trading doesn't work. Uh, whatever we teach is scam, all right? Uh, this whole Forex thing is a scam and they get all negative and they give up. So please do not blindly trade trend lines. You still need to identify the market context. You need to identify the price level. You need to identify your bias. Again, if you do not know what I'm talking about, this is the first video you are watching. I have a lot of free videos on YouTube for you to check out. In our free day trading guide, we also teach you the MPE trading strategy. M stands for market condition, P stands for price level, and E stands for entry. Now, in fact, in one of our recent videos, we always say that uh, regardless of which trading strategy you are using, I don't care, it's a swing trading, day trading, scalping, anything, the first step of the equation is always understanding the market context. Okay, so if you do not know what that is, right, download the free day trading guide, it's all there, okay? There's no credit card required, I'm not trying to sell you something, so just go get it, okay? It will help you a lot. Now, step number one, or rather guideline is number one, is that you don't want to blindly trade trend lines, you still want to identify the price action context, right? Then you want to trade alongside the price action context. Guideline number two would be, you want to stick to the trend as much as possible. So in this example over here, uh, it's a clear uptrend because you have a high, okay, this is a high, um, this is a low, uh, this is a higher high and higher low. So if you're in an uptrend, as much as possible, you want to lean towards the ascending trend line. You don't want to go counter trend because remember I said this is the counter trend trend line. You want to stick to the ascending trend line in this case. So always look at the trend and that's why I keep emphasizing on the need to look at your market condition to determine whether uh, you're in an uptrend, you're in a downtrend, you're in consolidation. What is the market condition you're in? Then you want to stick towards that. So learn to stick towards the trend as much as possible. Now, the next thing you want to do is you also want to wait for the opposing trend line to be broken. So what happens is that in this case, let me just clear this up so it's clearer for you. In this case, let's say price bounce off uh, this level over here and it starts coming up here. It comes up. Now the problem with just buying off this level and not taking care of this descending trend line is that price might actually do this. Okay, and you, you wouldn't want that. So what you want to do is that you want to wait. You want to be patient. Okay, sometimes, you know, a lot of you guys want to trade, right? You want to action and that's why you, you guys are not willing to wait. But the correct thing to do is to wait. Because what happens is that price may break up or price may break down. You, you don't really know. So always wait for the opposing trend line to be broken. So in this case, you, you wouldn't try to take a trade here. You shouldn't take a trade here. You should wait for price to break this trend line, okay? And uh, you can either do the breakout trade or you can wait for it to retest the trend line. And ideally, it will be a confluence between uh, the broken descending trend line and the ascending trend line. This is the ideal case. Sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Sometimes it just goes uh, straight up. But the idea is still the same. You want to wait for this trend line to be broken first. You do not want to just enter somewhere here because uh, price might just go down. Okay, so the same thing is also true if uh, let's say price were to break uh, this ascending trend line and now you're in a downtrend because you have a low, you have a high, you have a lower low and you have a lower high. So you're in a downtrend now. What you can do is you can wait for a retracement up here and then you have the uh, ascending trend line S. Uh, as confluence with your descending trend line. So what you are trying to do is you are trying to align both trend line. Okay, so this is a very powerful concept. Basically, you want to align both ascending trend line and descending trend line, both uh, with the trend trend line and uh, against the trend trend line. Okay, so just to repeat, right, because it might be a bit confusing. Let me just uh, repeat this one more time. So in this case, over here, when price hasn't break, you want to be waiting. Okay, if price breaks, you can either do the breakout trade or you can wait for price to retrace. 
downwards and just very nicely retrace towards the confluence between the uh, ascending trend line and descending trend line. Uh, if the opposite happens and price breaks down, then you want to wait for the retracements up okay, and find the confluence between the descending trend line and the ascending trend line. Okay, what you want is confluence. You want more um, factors to point towards your decision so that the level that you trade at is a stronger level. Okay, if somehow I'm not too clear about this, just leave a comment down below, right? Uh, we'll do our best to address this question because uh, this is not a very easy concept to explain, but uh, I hope you get it. Okay, so that's guideline number three. Guideline number four is uh, you want to avoid trading counter trend. So let me clear this. So this one is very straightforward. Uh, number two, actually, uh, number two and number four is the same. Uh, number two is telling you to do it uh, as in stick to the trend. And number four is just the opposite where you want to avoid trading counter trend. So what I mean is that you don't want to uh, take a shot here, okay? You do not, do not want to take a shot here because there's a ascending trend line here and you are in an uptrend. So this is going to be very low probability trade because you are against the trend and uh, even if price moves down, uh, you're going to bump into support over here. So from a risk to reward perspective, this is not a good uh, setup and you shouldn't be trading like that, okay? So hopefully that is clear. So I want to go back to the PowerPoint slide. And I just want to do a sum up of today's uh, video, okay? So in today's video, I highlighted this issue over here whereby uh, you, you guys want to trade trend lines, but uh, you're confused because you have a with trend trend line, you have an ascending trend line and you have a descending trend line. So a lot of you are confused about which trend line to lean towards to. So I gave you four guidelines. Number one guideline is that you do not want to blindly trade Okay, you always want to identify market structure first, then you want to trade with the market structure. Try to always trade with the trend. If you are in an uptrend, then try to lean towards the ascending trend line. And if you are in a downtrend, then stick towards the descending trend line. Okay, try to avoid the uh, trading the counter trend line, meaning that if you're in an uptrend, don't try to look for selling opportunities. And if you are in a downtrend, don't look for buying opportunities. Okay, now if you see two Two trend lines, one is the uh, trend line, uh, uh, the with the trend trend line, and the other is the counter trend trend line. Always wait for the opposing trend line to be broken, okay? It could be, um, it doesn't have to just be the opposing, it can be either of the trend line. Earlier on, I gave you an example that sometimes, you know, uh, price can break down, let's say this is a trend line, and instead of being support that breaks down, uh, just wait for this trend line to be broken and you can just wait for a retracement up, and you have a descending trend line, uh, confluence with the broken ascending trend line. Okay, so not really opposing trend line. Just wait for either of the trend line to be broken first, and try to align the both trend lines together, the with trend trend line and the counter trend trend line. You want to align these two so that you have a higher probability trade setup. And of course, the last one, which goes without saying, uh, is the opposite of uh, point number two here. It's you want to avoid trading counter trend. Okay, this is something that I keep advocating. If you are new to trading, you are struggling, do not trade counter trend because it doesn't make sense. You're not yet profitable, stick to the easy trades. Don't make it hard on yourself. Okay, so fully gotten value out of this video, right? I really appreciate it. Just take some time to like this video. It doesn't take you more than three seconds, right? Hit the subscribe button as well because we create a lot of videos like to serve you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. We'll, we will record a video just to serve you, okay? If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.